Hi, I'm Maggie Lockley and um, welcome to my happy place. Today I'm going to be doing a video on altered paper clips, I think that's what you call them, or decorative paper clips. Um, Michelle King is doing a challenge or a swap or a collaboration, I'm not sure what you called it, and um, which I've put my name down for, so I thought I'd better have a little practice, and I've made a new decision that I have to do more videos, and um, so I'm going to start off with small videos doing small things, and hopefully I'll get more confidence and um, start doing bigger ones. So, here we go. I have um, got quite a few little things here that I've fished out to do my paper clips with. Yeah. So, I thought I'd start easy. Um, and I have some um, textured paper that I made and made some circles on. So I think I'll just... Um, do a little circle and maybe put a little embellishment on it, something like that, and um, have a try. So, excuse me. I've been trying to make this video all day. I, would, I um, was having great trouble with my um, sound quality. It sounded like I was in a fish pole. On, and I have been um, trying all day to work out how to fix it. I even went down to see if I could see a technician, and um, they were all out, so they're going to ring me back. But I finally figured it out. Of course, dumb me had it on a wrong setting. I was not recording off my webcam um, microphone, I was doing it off my laptop, which is a fair way, well, you know, a good meter away, and um, so I um, <clears throat> fixed that, much to my delight, because I really didn't want to spend any more money, I'd rather spend money on craft products than on um, a new um, microphone or and then I might have had to have a new program to to do it in. So um, so that's all good. Just give this a little trim up. So, it's absolutely shocking weather here. We finally, after all this time, got the rain that they have been saying that we're beginning to get for. Um, well, since Christmas, really, and it's been so unbearably hot. We usually um, here have um, temperatures in the summertime around our hottest is about 26. Um, we might go a little higher a few times in the summer, but not, not often. Um, but this summer we've been consistently 29. And um, that's really just a little bit above my comfort zone. All right, of course the glue glue's um, clear, so that's good. So I think that's what you do. I watched Michelle's um, video last night, and that's basically the sort of thing she did. She gave me all, all the tips, or gave us all the tips on how what spot way up to have our um, um, videos and things like that. Got some little wee cardboard butterflies here. I might put one of those on it. That might look nice. I hope you can't hear the noise from my husband. He's busy in the kitchen um, putting a trim around the bench. So that the water doesn't get down um, and um, ruin the the cupboards. And, um, so he's making a bit of a noise, but 
I have the door shut, so it's not too bad. Yeah, no, whoops, to remember to. I don't know whether that's clear or not. I can't tell whether it's my eyes looking at the screen so far away or whether it's. Yeah, if that looks okay. <coughs> right. Um, I really would like to um, thank all you artists that are um, that comment on my um, art that I put up. All the nice things you say it really boosts my confidence. I've only really been doing art for um, those two aren't quite the same size. Which one? I wonder which one is the inch and which one's too big. Oh, well, I'm just going to trim it anyway. <clears throat> um, thank all you ladies for all the lovely things you say about my art because it really does give me confidence to carry on and do more. Oh. Oh. Flick it on the floor and tidy it up later is my motto. Right. Um. You know, I chat along and have no problem chatting to people and just general chit chat and I get on this video and I get all tongue tied and um, nervous and don't know what to say and hope I'm in the right place for you keep on forgetting about the camera but I know it's there because it makes me tongue-tied really really enjoy enjoying um, YouTube and watching all these great artists They're so talented and I, I just think to myself why did I wait so long before I ever did it my children and grandchildren up until I started doing this used to laugh at my heart because they'd say granny could you draw, draw me something and I'd draw stick people and they'd think it was a hell of a joke but, right, this is one of my inches that I had left over from cat hands mixed media morsels so I'm going to put something on there I did. Oh, I've got some really nice little um, buttons. I don't want to make it too thick because if I post, have to post them, um, then we have a certain thickness on our um, the size of our letters for. Uh, standard rate, standard rate um, overseas is two dollars fifty here, and uh, that's in a normal size envelope, and it's allowed to be ten centimeters thick. My husband made me this lovely. I don't know if you can see it, but this lovely little measure, so I can measure because I took one down to post one day, and she said to me that'll be fifteen dollars, please. I said. Uh, no, I think I'll take that home and revisit what I'm sending. <laughs> and um, had to take a, quite a bit of the stuff out because it was just too thick. So now he's made me this little thing to um, measure my stuff before I send it. I mean, the last one that I did, I, I didn't take stuff out actually, I went home and made a bigger parcel and thought well if I'm going to pay that amount of money I'm going to um, make it worthwhile. Um, so 
so that was quite a hard lesson learned because we pensioners and I can't you know afford to send big parcels off at a regular basis Right, just put a little trim on them to make it pop out a bit. I am slowly getting um, art products together. I watch all you ladies and see what you use and then think, oh well, my dollar store products do okay. And then when I get a little bit of money saved up, I go off out of town and and buy things like these big pet pens. I've got a black one and a white one now. And they're really cool. I love them. Mm. That's good. And I had to um, re-bottle my um, Elmer's Tacky Glue, which I finally found in one of our stores. Which was really good, but the um, container lid was um, not very good, and I couldn't ever get it to work. So I put it into a marmite container. Now I know you ladies in America won't know what marmite is. You don't have anything like that over there. In Australia, in Australia, they have Vegemite, but um, yes, it's a it's a spread, and it's a sort of a savoury spread. I think that's okay. Might put a little bit of glitter on it later. So, hmm. so I assume that I'm doing the right thing. They look they look like they're the right what they were doing in the right size. Um, Paper clips, so yeah. Now, what else am I going to do in my little bag of tricks that I've got here? Um, my flowers. I have um, little, little um, hearts. Now, I don't know who I watch to do this, but uh, it's um strips of washi tape and then you cut out your shapes they're all really nice there and my little um wonky houses and oh okay. i do have the little butterflies that i cut out here which i thought would be quite cool so i could uh, and this is just um excuse me my sinuses are terrible um this is just um, jelly print. So I think I'm going to glue those together to make them more firmer. And I think I could do that with um, um, glue stick, I think. I think that would be okay with glue stick. Let's just stick the, the sides together. Excuse me. My sinuses have flared up again and it's very annoying. I can feel my I can hear myself sounding like I'm all nasally and sniffy. As I try not to sniff on camera and sound very nice. Oh. Now, I think I might just um, decorate that before I put it together, I think. And I think that I will put on that. What have I got over here in my little bag of tricks? I put these, my last 
my last little shopping spree I had. I bought this lovely um, bigger sequence. Some of those. That stick on it might be nice. Oh, trust me. Find some small ones. Just tip a few out and find my um. Mm, those tweezers are not very good. Here they are. Here's one's here. Much better. Mm. Maybe a bit brush would be better. Get a little stick on there. I was going to set my alarm so I didn't prattle on too long. I don't think people want to watch me. It's been half the day watching me make little embellishments. I didn't even look how long I've been going. Right, now I'll find another little, another little purple one. Or pink one. Oh, there we go. Right, a little mess here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's bring it a bit close. Don't know if my lighting is very good either. <coughs> Just get a little pen here. Do a little bit of a doodle around that, I think. Maybe do a little, little face here. Little body down. Oops, come over a bit down there. And put some little lines on it. Doing some little oh, shapes around now. Yeah. Do a little bit of doodle on it. Not that I'm the greatest doodler in the world. I never even doodled when I was young either. Alright, which way are we going to have that? I think we'll leave that that way. My daughter's away in the South Island um, in their bus for a month at the moment. And uh, I was quite nervous the other day when Christchurch had their 5.6 um, earthquake. It's a bit nerve-wracking when you've got family in the, that live there. I have a daughter that lives in Rangiora, which is like just about 20 minutes out of... Um, Christchurch but I text my daughter and she said no they hadn't felt a thing and my sister said um, her house really really rocked but there was no damage so that was good right. hmm. like that There so, we are. A little butterfly. All right. Sweep these up before I go any further, otherwise I know I'll spread them everywhere and never find them again.
excuse me. Right, okay. It's three. I'm going to do another one here, and I do have a little wooden butterfly, and I think that I might just do that on there. With a little bit of painted up with a little bit of something, and um, put some glitter and stuff on it. I think might be nice. So if you ladies, um, you know, could give me feedback on um, the sound quality, I would be very appreciated. Well, well, I would appreciate it very much, but I can't even speak English. My tongue turns to gobbledygook. My 13-year-old granddaughter is quite the little artist and um, she's been giving me great encouragement on my um, February painted faces that I've been doing with Nikki Carr. And Nikki, Nikki Parr, I think her name is. Not even her name has even gone out of my head. Oh, it's terrible. I keep on telling my children when I do things like this that I'm having a grey moment. Mm. Yeah, that looks good. Turquoise colour. Little mix in there so it doesn't get everywhere. Uh -oh. Down the road, we've got a wipe up. Right. Just a bit of little wee blast. For this. Shaking. Oh, some one too many. Excuse me for putting my arm over it. Oh, yeah. Cool. And I think we might have some glitter. Right. Just to put the right not colour I can put on it. Do I? I think I might have a bit of blue there. I wonder if that'll be too blue. Oh, I think so. Right. Um, we might just put a little bit of white glitter on it, I think. Just put a little bit of glue on it to hold it on. A little bit in there. Shift all that out of my little tray. Right. Yeah. 
hope you can see the sparkle on that. Just scoop this back up before I put it everywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Now. Give me a little bit of it's going to stick. It'll be interesting to find out. Blob of <coughs> glue on the back there. Alright. Might take a little bit to dry that one, but here we are. Right, all right, by the look of this, I think we've been going for about 26 minutes, so I think that might just stop the video there. I was going to do five. Oh, maybe I can do just a quick one. This one is, I thought I was going to do a little flower. Oops, so if I just um, put the glue on this one. everywhere. Now, yes, this is the way it's supposed to go. Pop that one on the top. Get it in the right place. I'll fold it up to there, unfold it. Move it around and I've got a nice little well big googly eye that I thought I might pop in the middle of this one. Have something a little bit unusual. It's a pretty sim simple one, don't worry. These are quite fun. I can see myself doing a lot more of these. Here's my flower. My butterfly. My little inchy. Just my little balloon. Got an embellishment on it. And my little butterfly. Hmm. Well, if any of you, anybody's still here watching to the end, thank you so much. Um, I'm sure I will get better doing these, but I feel quite nervous and tongue-tied every time I come on. So thank you so much. And if you haven't found me before, if you like what you see, please subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.